Good evening. Our team has decided to do the next event at Hyderabad on the 28th of October, around about 4.30 to 5 in the evening. It's a Saturday. Those desirous of meeting me in Hyderabad at the event may contact the email given below. Moneypage Hyderabad at gmail.com. We have also given WhatsApp numbers. You can contact us there. My team will be happy to help you with the details. Hi everyone. Welcome back to Be Rich. Good evening. Before I get on to the topic today, I'd like to talk about uh, yesterday's video and some of the feedback which I read on this comments. Some of it was really good. Some of you guys got it spot on. Some of you missed the ball by a wide mark. Like Arun Prakash was right. Anand would say, even though it's a diamond pin, I won't poke my eye out with it. He's absolutely right when it comes to Voltas. And uh, I do understand science is religious. 5618 said, I'm expecting you and Anand to talk about the GSC tax issues. Arn will definitely cover it in one of his videos. And uh, he also did say Delta Corp is in his watch list and he's maybe looking at it. Well, I wish him the best of luck in that. What I found hilarious was this one by Balaji Ganeshan. He said, the info is just from the Live Mint article. I did mention that in the video. Please rope in Shashwat and do some quality video. I would love to, Balaj Ganeshan. But Shashwat doesn't want to come because he's busy. It's just me. I'm so sorry that... You find me very boring and very dry and I don't have the personality like Shashwat does or the youth of Shashwat to keep you engaged in my videos. But do keep an eye out for Shashwat and when he does come in the thumbnails, definitely tune into those videos. If it's just me and you find me very boring and I find my videos uh, very dry and it's something that you can read in the newspaper yourself, then you can probably give me a miss. But then again, I did mention this in the video to start saying that this is how I see these kind of articles in the news. How do you guys consume this news? This is how we consume the news. And I wanted to give you into a bird's eye view on how Anand looks at these news. Because I sit with Anand when he's reading the news. And me and him have long lengthy conversations about these kinds of stocks and these companies. So I thought I'd share them with you since it's just me here. Since I don't have him here with me to tell you what he thinks. And if uh, I offended you, Balaji Ganesh, I'm sorry. Anyway, today's uh, video is about... Uh, a great article which uh, Kesav dug out and found is from Money Control. So I've told you guys this. It is not something I've researched and found out from some secret chamber somewhere. It was found by Kesav and I thought it's very interesting. And I'll share it with you for the simple reason. A lot of you wonder, is it possible to become rich after the age of 40? We you know you keep on telling us all this stock market, stock market. Is it really possible? Can we really achieve this? Or is there some pipe dream which you just keep telling, feeding us so you can get your view count on your videos? And believe me, I hardly get any view counts in any of my videos, especially when I'm speaking alone. So that is not my motivation. Whomsoever would like to become rich can trust me that this is a tried and tested formula and it works. And Kesav's article is proof in point where we talk about a person in Chennai called uh, Anil Kumar Goyal. He is known as the Chennai Commodity Super King. And this article talks about uh, how they had an interview with him and how he went about in the stock market and how he made all his wealth. And he made a considerable amount of wealth. It says uh, he embarked on a stock market journey at the age of 41 with a very minimal capital. I'm sure cases that it's that bit out. And he has grown his investment to extraordinary levels considering considered one of India's super investors now. What did he do? Unlike most, Goel predominantly focused on commodities like sugar and steel stocks and made substantial uh, wealth by outperforming many in the investing through commodity cycles despite conventional challenges associated with this. Anand doesn't believe in this one. So remember this, there are many ways to becoming wealthy. Anand's way and what I agree with Anand that way is just one way. If you know of another way, like Goel has shown here, and you do your research and you have a good advising team and you're able to research and grow your knowledge and do the due diligence, definitely you can become wealthy. And he wrote the commodity cycles, which is sugar and steel stocks. Sugar and steel stocks predominantly in India always have a rough time. Anand has explained to you why and he's done many videos on this and if I'm sure you go check in his uh, YouTube feed, you can find out the ones where he's spoken in Hindi, English and in Tamil. Why he tries to avoid sugar, cement, certain steel companies only he touches, like Tata Steel, others he walks away from and why it is so. But this person is made by riding these cycles. So his initial involvement was with his family's steel trading business 
So this circles back to what uh, Warren always says, says in his circle of competence. Goyal's family was steel trading business. So he learned those essential skills about value investing in the steel industry. Me, Anand are not from that background. So we stay away from sugar and other commodities because we do not have first-hand knowledge, not historical knowledge in this. So we stick to things which we know, which we, our father and grandfather has transferred that knowledge to us. We stay in those circles of competence, like what Warren said. In terms of Goyal, his family was in steel trading. So he realized how the knack of buying low and selling high, you can make money. And that investment philosophy is what he used, which is an age-old philosophy which what Warren Buffett, Charlie Munger, and then Slith Macklin, all of them have spoken about, is buying at a cheap price, holding it, and selling it at a high price, riding that cycle. So his investment philosophy revolves around this patiently, buying at low cost, then patiently, waiting till the prices go up and market cycles eventually turn favorable when the headwind comes, then selling it. This strategy encompassed around 80 stocks, mainly concentrating commodities, and his portfolio is currently valued at 2,200 crores, and he's 70 now. So in 30 years, with a very small capital, at the age of 41, Mr. Goyal has grown to 2,200 crores. 30 years back was in 1990. So you can imagine, in 1990 in India, when stock market was the wild, wild west, Harshad Mehta and all that nonsense was happening and we were coming out of all that, the stamp scam, all that stuff was going on. He found a way to navigate through that chaos and see value investing opportunities and ride the cycles repeatedly 30 years on and he's made 2,200 crores. His uh, major holdings include a lot of sugar and textile industry stocks. His investment journey was not without difficulties. He had significant setbacks, he has said. On the outset, during the sour bets and uh, GDRs, which are global deposited receipts, and missing out on the IT share rallies during the 1999-2000 rally. He is currently is pays significant bets in sugar and tech sales, even though he has encountered recent challenges with his investment in the steel sector, which didn't pan out as he expected. So, what is the reason behind this? He is credited to his work ethic. He maintains a regular daily routine, starting his day at 3 a.m. and kept consistent exercise regime showcasing his dedication and discipline. This is another thing Anand has spoken about. So here is living proof why Anand says having motivation to have a discipline, to have a set schedule and following it and being disciplined is paramount to becoming wealthy. Because with that discipline, with doing something repeatedly over and over again without putting too much effort into without thinking too much which is what value investing is you grow wealth so that kind of reflects in everything you do in life if you only do that in your health will also reflect in your finance if you do that in your finance conversely it will also reflect in your wealth if you are a value investor trust me your lifestyle will also change to become value investing the way you eat the way you lead your life will also become value investing. This is what he has very nicely said. So now when he's talking about these market cycles, he did it in commodity. So I thought I'll expand a little bit on this to explain what is market cycle. So those of you who are 35, 40 and who are wondering why can't I become the next Goyal in India? Why can't I become a super investor? You definitely can. So I wanted to briefly talk about what are market cycles and how we can profit from this. So. First one which we have is known as a bull market expansion. This is characterized by rising prices, increasing investor confidence, which we all know, and with higher in common, uh, economic indicators as the economic indicators showing growth and success and everything, investors go running into the market, which we have seen, and prices are being pushed higher and higher. The peak is when the market has reached this saturation point, then it switches over to a bear market. Then at that point of time, everything starts collapsing. So what you do is you buy at the lower end of the bull market, which is when the contraction bear market is there, where the prices are declining, people have lost confidence, and there's an economic downturn, which we're saying is coming. So at that point of time, you buy, then you hold it on through the trough when the market is recovering stage and it's getting ready to go to the next bull run. You hold it through the bull run, and when you feel the bull market has reached its peak, you cannot time it, remember this, you sell and you exit and you wait patiently for the next cycle. It will come. Of course, 
when you do sell a little too early in the bull market and it still goes up by another 10-15%, your stomach will burn. But you have to be a value investor at that point in time. Switch off your stock screens and wait for the correction. Being human, we all burn when we see this. So my advice, we if you have already liquidated your portfolio and you're waiting for the bear market, stop reading stock news. Stop following, stop logging on. Let your account go dormant because you have one way cashed out and you're sitting and waiting. Do other things in life. When the bear market comes, trust me, you will know when the bear market has come even if you're an ostrich sitting inside a cave because so much of news will permeate. People will be calling you frantically saying market is crashed. The world has come to a stop. That's how it's always broken. At that time, you can reinvest, open your portfolio, open your apps again and flood your watch list with all the stocks you want to buy. So has this happened, Vinod? Has this historically happened? Yes, it's happened many times. I thought I'll give you three examples. The first is the dot-com bubble. The expansion all through 90s, it saw the boom in technology, which is what uh, Goyal missed, he said. And the prices went up, the tech stocks went up and it peaked around here, March 2000, it peaked. The bubble burst with severe market downturn and many of the internet stock, internet companies were wiped out and never came back. The recovery started in the year 2002, year 2003, all the way up to the global financial crisis of 2000, 2009, where the real estate bubble grew substantially big. Then that led to a peak around October of 2007. Then it corrected. Then everything went back down. The subprime uh, mortgage crisis happened. Then we hit again on March. We hit another trough. From that trough, if you notice, the 2000-2009 was a short run. The next one was from March of 2009 all the way to the pandemic. When the pandemic happened and that crash happened. So that was a good, I would say, almost 11 years, 12 years we waited. And we saw a severe correction in that, where all the stocks again corrected deeply. And now it's going through a recovery phase and the markets have reached the trough and is going through a bull run right now. So this is a kind of repeated pattern which you can see. And each time it dips, you buy and then you hold. When it goes up, you sell. You dip, you buy. So you repeat these cycles. And if you keep on repeating like what Goyal had done, trust me, 2000 crores is nothing. You can do very easily 2000 crores. If you had done, just hit the COVID uh, downturn itself and you moved into stocks like ITC, you moved into huge positions into Indescent Bank, HDFC Bank, right at the bottom of the COVID crash, market crash, you'll be sitting at 300, 200, 400 plus right now in all your investments across the board. So it happens. And if you take that 400, 300% and you book your profits at that point in time, and you sit and wait for the next correction, recession to come. And again, you move in, depending on the size and the correction, you can again make another 300, 400% again. So this kind of cyclical uh, riding of the market is what Goel did from the age of 40 to 70, making him very wealthy. So this is why I say anybody can do this at any age and age is no restriction. And I wish you all the best of luck in your endeavors and do keep those comments coming. Even the snarky ones like Balaji Ganesh, I don't mind. I did mean it in humor, uh, Balaji Ganesh. I did not mean to offend, like you were saying, that I do take all your criticisms very constructively. I thought I would just have a little bit of a fun to show you guys I read all your comments and I do engage them. Even if they do turn nasty, it doesn't offend me. Thank you for watching the program today. I hope you found it informative and entertaining. And I wish all of you a happy long weekend. And I'll see you in the next one tomorrow. Bye. It's a great privilege and honor that so many of you in thousands have subscribed to my channel and have supported me. I have written two books in English, The Alchemy of Money and Ordinary Stocks, Extraordinary Profits. These books are published by us and are ready. If you want to procure a copy, send us a message to the WhatsApp number given below and my team would respond to you. If you want an Amazon Kindle copy, you can click the link below. Finally, those who wish to consult with me can send a mail to berichenglish at gmail.com. Once again, I thank you for your support. If you like this video, press the subscribe button of my channel, hit the like button and turn on the bell notification.